we're going to be doing a facial features today on a one by one and a half uh, by 12 uh, stick of basswood. And so we're just going to be working on facial features only today. So hopefully this will be informational to you and help you. And again, um, if you have any questions, why, please leave us a comment and uh, in the comment section. All right, so what we're going to do here is we're going to take our bench knife and we're going to make a cut here about a half inch down piece of uh, wood here. <clears throat> and so as we're carving away here, we always want to remind ourselves about the 90 degree angle. If we were to hold uh, this um, piece of wood here uh, and we were to draw a line here from that corner to this, this is our center line right through here. And really, if we turn it from here, from here, this is about where your ears would be at on the uh, on this piece that we're going to carve. But we're not going to do ears today. Well, that'll be for another time. So we're going to start here again with our with our cut about half inch down, make a swooping cut, and uh, then we're going to come in now with our knife and make the eye planes. Okay, and again, keeping everything in center. Um, draw us a line right here just for, for you to see. And then I'm going to take my tip of my knife, start here, and my knife's going to wind up here at the outer edge of the eye, hopefully. And this is going to create the bridge of the nose for us here in just a little bit. Same thing here, except we're going to start right here. And this part of the knife's going to be coming down toward the outer part of, the, of this eye right here. So clean this up just a little bit, okay? All right, and then we're going to come right here. This is going to be the point of the nose, and we're going to come right in here and make it what we call a rocking chair cut. This is a lot safer cut than trying to come across um, because the wood grain could give away, and, uh, and bad things could happen there, maybe. But anyway, so we're going to undercut that now, and you'll see that we have a nose and that's the furthest thing that sticks out on your face. And so we are at this point now where we're going to take a U gouge. And this is about a number three or four. And we're going to come about halfway down the uh, nose and create the bridge. And we're going to push straight in. And don't, we're not going up. We're going straight in. Just like so. We'll take our knife and remove that waste there that was created by the U-gouge. Then we're going to start right here where we start with our U-gouge and we're going to take this part of this waste out and you can see that opened up our eyes more, our plane for our eyes. Okay, I'm going to turn my wood here and we're going to do the same cut here starting out here and working our way toward the outer edge of the eye and cleaning up this here. All right. So there's the two planes for the eye. Here's your nose. Now we're going to come in here and clean off this roughness of the wood. And right, <clears throat> right about here we're going to put our smile lines on each side of the nose. Now we're wanting to create three planes here for the mouth because if you don't get your mouth right, your carving is going to look flat. And so we always want to make sure that there is what they call a dental mound. It's the roundness of it, of the mouth. So I'm going to take the tip of my knife and I'm going to start right here at the end of my small line and work my way up to where I put the stop cut. And that stops me from going up into the nose. And uh, so we don't want that. So again, we're putting a stop cut here, taking our knife and plunging it in and coming up to the bottom of the nose. All right, so this has created, there's one plane, two, and three. And so we can come in, we're going to continue to round this a little bit more because when I first started carving, my faces were very flat. They looked like they hit a parked car. Um, and so I asked a friend of mine, why is my faces look so flat? And he said, well, think about this. What is behind the upper lip? And, well, of course, we know it's our teeth, and the teeth is what shape is the shape of our face. And so we're going to continue here with the smile lines to extend these up into the nose. 
And again, I always come back and visit this dill mound quite a bit and tweak this as I go to try to help balance things out. All right, let's work on the nose here a little bit and making this a little rounded. cleaning up and this is where um, your knives our soles needs to really be really sharp get these nice crisp clean cuts in here all right so um, now we're going to come out here with our u gouge and we're going to extend are to create the crook of the nose just to give you more better of a, a, a look at it here taking our v-tool coming in like that creating that little crook okay let's leave the nose alone for a while now since this is going to be a man's face uh, we're going to create the eyebrow area and what we do here is we cut this wood back just like we did on our very first cut and we're creating the eye bone the eyebrow area and uh, creating this ridge that we all have us men that have uh, we have that ridge there and then we want to now take our u gouge or a, a soft v or whatever it is and split the eyebrow. We don't want him to have a unibrow. And we're not doing a werewolf. So that kind of gives you an idea of what um, the basics so far looks like on the face. All right, and then we're just coming in and cleaning up these areas here. Now let's do, before we do a mouth, let's, let's put in some eye placement. Let's put in the eyelid. And Taking our, our pencil here, or a pen, or whatever you want to use. And so those are going to be our eyelids. So take you a, a V-tool here that will um, start right out here on the edge of the outer eye. Don't go any deeper than what this tool is made for. And create that first cut for the eyelid. Below this cut will be where the eyeball is. All right, so let's jump across the nose here and let's go over here and let's do the same thing. I'm using my thumb as a t pivot point as I'm turning. It gives me control and it just really helps out in keeping control of your V-tool. And again, you'll see how my thumb is placed. I've got my, my thumb right on his nose. Okay, now let's do the actual eye ball, and we're going to take our, our knife here, and we're going to do six cuts, six cuts to each eye ball. So there's going to be, <clears throat> there's going to be three cuts here on each corner, and so it's kind of like a, a, uh, like a chip and a triangle. And all we're doing is making little triangle cuts in each corner of the eye ball. So I'm going to take my knife here, and I'm going to make a cut here and here. And then I'm going to angle my knife because I don't want to come in straight because that could cut into the cheek area. So I'm going to angle my knife, and out comes that chip uh, for this particular corner of the eye. All right. Same thing. Come over here to this side of the eyeball. Do the same three cuts. In the same three cuts and there you have an eyeball now that eyeball again is sticking out a little too far out so let's take our knife and make a cut right on top of that eyeball right under that bottom lid 
and using the very tip of your knife and then come in. This is where your knife needs to be really sharp and that way you'll just take out that little sliver of wood and, and that, sets, that helps sets that eyeball back into the socket there. <clears throat> kind of cleaning out there. All right, so that's an eyeball. Now after a while we'll come in and put the, the um, eye, uh, bottom eyelid. All right, so let's jump across the nose here. Let's go across here and do these three cuts on this side. Maybe learn to turn your wood. Make your triangle cut here. One and two and three. And there's our second eyeball. All right. Again, sinking our knife in on top of that eyeball. Control is important. Taking your time and then taking the very tip of your knife and create that eyeball right there. All right, now I'm just coming in here to make this a little deeper. And so now let's come in and put in the eyelid, the bottom eyelid. And I start from the outside. I work my way in. I give this a little, again, don't go any deeper than what your V-tool's made for. And it creates that little lid there. And so we'll come out here and extend our happy lines or crow's feet, whatever you want to call them. And um, that helps out on that particular side of the eye. Same thing, starting on the outside here on this other eye, working our way in and creating that eye lid there for the bottom of this eye. Okay. Now let's come down here to the mouth area and let's work on this. And the mouth really has a lot uh, to do with the facial expressions. Um, and we're going to just take our V-tool here and make a cut right here. And right this way. See, all right, it's kind of got a mischievous grin there. And uh, even though there's not much, there's no bottom lip or anything. So, and so anyway, that's to be the top. And again, that's our one and two and three planes. And then we're going to take a soft V and we're just going to do a normal a mouth, uh, just a standard. And when you are uh, relaxed, uh, that is the deepest part right there in the center is where you're uh, uh, most relaxed. And that's the deepest part. And then we're going to, Start taking it and tucking it in, and as we get closer to the corner of the mouth, we're getting closer to that corner with our soft V, and that gives us a bottom lip. Now, we're going to take our knife here, and I'm going to stick with my old, this knife right here, and we're going to make a score or a stop cut between the upper and lower lip. I'm going to do this a couple of times, and just using the tip only, because if you try to go any deeper, the rest of the blade is going to cut into the wood and bust out your mouth and, and all that. So just use the very tip. And again, I'm going to try it one more time because we're cutting the fibers of the wood in there. And then when I come in here now, I'm going to start right here and make a cut. And I'm turning my knife and using this thumb right here to push that knife and hopefully that's going to open up, open up the mouth for us a little bit. Go in here. And clean that out. Get your stiff brush. That sometimes just helps just as good. And then come in here and we're going to soften the features. We're almost done with this guy here. We're getting close to the finish line. And so soften up this area, get rid of these little edges right here. And um, let's see, I see a spot right here where we need to kind of clean up here in the eye area.
right. Okay. Now, we're going to have to give him um, some nostrils. So I turn my carvings upside down, and I get a hold of him, and I place my U-gouge here. I call this the nose picker. And we go straight in, just like so. Straight in like that. And then I turn him over, and I take my knife and clean out his nose. Again, we're picking his nose. And then we have this little indentation in our right below our nose that's called an angel kiss. But here in the Ozarks, we call it the snot trough. And just put that little shadow there. Okay, so that's the basic face. Now, the only thing we got left to do is put in the eyebrows. You can paint them on or... Uh, but we're, I like carving them. The more, you, the more you can carve on your character, I think the more better off you'll be. And because uh, the paint will um, do its job. But let's try to put as much stuff as in as we can. And we use a V tool. And so follow this upper line right here where you carved the upper lid. And so stay on that line right there if you can and make short strokes. All right, if you can. And gives and follow down. Then turn them around. Come this way. Follow that top line you carved in for your eyelid. And then I like to come in and, and add some exaggerating features, you know, some some aging cuts just using a, a, a soft V here I absolutely love this tool and uh, it does so a lot of stuff for you and of course you know you can come down and and you know put some different streaks that's run down through here you know whatever you'd like to do and uh, and then <clears throat> if you're going to uh, paint the guy you paint your eyeballs white but for our demonstration purpose today, we're just going to take our pencil and have your carving looking up or down, left or right. Don't have them look like uh, they're staring out into space. Um, so that just really helps with your carving. So as we wind up this, uh, this uh, facial uh, demonstration today, just remember, practice, practice, practice. And uh, next thing you'll know, you'll be doing a lot more than just open eyes you'll be doing other things and carving all kinds of features and we'll just look forward to seeing you at the next video please like us and subscribe and also uh, tell everyone you can to tune in next time and thank you for uh, being here today